The fuel pressure accumulator. What does it do and what happens when it fails? So this is a fuel pressure accumulator. And if you have a Mercedes Benz with Bosch K or KE Jetronic, this is an important part of your fuel system. Why is that? Well, a couple of reasons. First of all, this provides a slight reserve of fuel pressure for when you accelerate so that the car doesn't necessarily fall flat on its face. But it also provides residual fuel pressure in the system to stabilize the system uh, during during starting, especially during a hot start, so that the fuel system doesn't vapor lock. Now, let's explain how these things work. First of all, this is the big accumulator. Some of them had two lines here, uh, but these were used in on K cars, K Jetronic cars. So basically, 85 and earlier, 380, 500, 450, uh, SE, SL, SLC, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Next, this is the late version accumulator, or one variation of it, which was used in KE Jetronic cars. Its failure rates are much lower, but it can still go bad. Now, how do these things work? Well, first of all, they live down by the fuel pumps under the car, and fuel pressure is forced into them by the same pumps that fill up the filter and the fuel system. So they're connected through a little metal line to the fuel filter and fuel pump supply pipe. Now, as these things pressurize, any excess fuel is returned via the return line to the fuel tank. However, this return should only come into play at working pressure, which is something like, uh, and here we're between 5.5 and 7.0 bar. And what's going to happen is any, uh, any uh, excess fuel below that pressure will stay in here. So this provides a continuous reservoir of pressurized fuel that is ejected through a tiny little hole in the nozzle of the accumulator. Now, let's talk about what happens when these go bad. On a 450, 500, or 380 version of any of these cars, or a late 350, or a 280SE or SL, cars with an M110 engine, you will get a very difficult hot start if your accumulator is failing because it allows too much fuel to go back to the tank, leaving a pressure void in the fuel distributor. What happens after that? Well, when the pressure void uh, you know, overcomes the fuel after about 20 or 30 minutes, the fuel in the fuel distributor vaporizes, making the car very hard, hard to start. Now, a similar thing can happen with these little accumulators, although it is much less common. It, it does happen and will give you similar symptoms, but with these things, it seems to affect cold starting more than these. In fact, if your accumulator goes bad, your cold start will usually be okay just because everything's cool and you just have a gush of fuel coming into the system. With these guys, you may get some starting issues during your cold start. Anyway, uh, the next thing that you probably want to know is cost and manufacturer. These are supplied by Bosch and they're supplied either in a Mercedes box or a Bosch box, but so far I've had no problems using the Bosch product. The Bosch number for this big accumulator is 0433170017. For this small accumulator, it's, uh, let's see here, 1018, uh, no, that's not it. The Mercedes number is 000476-1021, but there are several different versions of these, so you really should be checking part numbers. Now, on 1979 and earlier 450 SLs, SLCs, SEs, and SELs, there was a different accumulator that had two lines, same design, but different, line, different lines, because what would happen is fuel would flow through the accumulator and then back to the filter. 
and then from the filter it would go to the engine. So just a heads up that they're not the same. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and I've helped you solve a major problem on your car or possibly provided you with some answers, please leave a friendly like and a nice comment below. Also, if you disagree with me and think that I've left out some information, you can leave a comment below as well and I will try to give you a polite response. Finally, if you haven't liked the, um, watched some of our other, other videos yet or subscribed, please do so. And if you've watched a lot of our videos and really liked them, think about supporting us on Patreon. If you have friends that love classic Mercedes too, please share this video and enjoy working on and wrenching on your own classic Mercedes, especially because this is a part that most mechanics don't even think about when people have hot starting issues. So a lot of the time mechanics don't even touch these things. So you get to be smarter than most mechanics if you diagnose an accumulator issue.